Hey everybody, in this reading we're looking at the most important thing that you need to know about right now at this very moment. And uh, this thing could be about love, friendship, trips, work, whatever comes up. I'll do one spread and maybe an additional clarification uh, spread if necessary. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. All right, Taurus, so here's uh, the most important uh, thing that you need to know about uh, right now at this moment. We have uh, the Tower, clarified by the Knight of Swords. We have the King of Cups, clarified by the Wheel of Fortune. Um, then we have the Two of Pentacles, clarified by the Six of Pentacles. And uh, we have the Page of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a water sign. Uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We also have Air, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. So this King of Cups is about to drop out of the blue. <laughs> um, yeah, you are about to receive an invitation or communication from this King of Cups. All right, right there in the middle, clarified by the Wheel of Fortune. So the King of Cups is most likely a water sign, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, or somebody with a lot of water in their chart. If they're not a water sign, it could be somebody who is you know, mature, but at the same time very loving when it comes to you. They could be somebody who is in control of their emotions and things like that. We start with the Tower, clarified by the Knight of Swords, right? And we also have the Page of Cups on the bottom of the deck. So this King of Cups is about to just show up. Or out of the blue, this person will tell you, you know what, I'm going to be in your neighborhood, you want to hang out. Or, you know what, I'm going on this trip, and uh, by the way, we have an extra ticket, or we have an extra room in the hotel. Uh, would you like to come with us? All right. The tower, clarified by the Knight of Swords, is something urgent or something that's just going to happen real, real quick. Something you don't see coming, you don't expect to, to receive this or to see this person. Right. So that's what those two cards are. The tower, in this case, is something that happens unexpectedly. Perhaps if you already have plans, maybe you will have to, in order for you to do this, to go there, you may have to change your plans. Or you may have to go with the Knight of Swords, Clarifying the Tower. It just kind of underlines what I was just saying. The urgency or it's like this offer is hot. You have to react to it like as soon as you can. Right? But uh, you will not <laughs> react to it as soon as you can. Because I see you kind of doubting it. Or maybe you'll just try to fit everything into your schedule. Because at the end we have the two of Pentacles clarified by the six of Pentacles. This is where you either hesitating or again this is you trying to put everything into to fit everything into your schedule. With the two of Pentacles it could be you juggling, right? Whatever this King of King of Cups needs you to do or wants you to do. And uh, you may still try to juggle that with some other things, some other errands, some other things you have scheduled or planned for uh, that particular day or that particular week or weekend or what have you. Or this is you simply trying to understand if this is something you want to do or how you can help this person or how you can accommodate this, right? Because the two and the six of pentacles clarifying that, um, they're, they're kind of similar, right? Kind of similar, energetically speaking. The six of pentacles, by the way, could also be a card of generosity. Perhaps this person needs to borrow money from you. <laughs> I don't know. Or you may be uh, if they want you to go somewhere, you may still have to spend some money on the trip and you're like, do I have this extra money or do I, can I get out of my current budget or do I need to get into my savings? I don't know, something like that. Right? It could be financial with those two cards. All right, so yeah, um, let's do another spread. I actually want to get like a clarification or an advice spread for you real quick. All right, cool. So here's the uh, clarification spread for you, uh, Taurus, or the advice spread. Uh, we have the Sun, clarified by the uh, Six of Wands, Justice, uh, Strength, clarified by the Fool, and uh, we also have the Ace of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Well, Taurus, sometimes I look at spreads and I ask myself a, simply, a very simple question. What do we not have on the table? All right, and uh, in this case, in this spread, we do not have any rejection cards, okay? We do not. No rejections. As a matter of fact, I think the universe wants you to go for it. You don't have to if you don't want to, depending on what this person wants from you, right? But uh, we have, what, four major arcana cards? All three cards that came out originally before I started clarifying, before I flipped the deck over, all three of them were major arcana cards. And these are some freaking awesome major arcana cards. One of the clarifiers is the six of ones, a minor arcana card, then the, the second clarifier, the full, is also 
a major arcana card. All right, then on the bottom of the deck we have the Ace of Pentacles, which is a golden opportunity. So I think you giving it a shot, you going for it, you going to this trip, whatever it is, may turn out to be a golden opportunity for you in some shape or form. It could be friendship, love, maybe money, work related, what have you. Or if this person wants to borrow money from you, they may pay you back with percentage or they will owe you. You know, they'll owe you one or something like that. Perhaps it's one of those people whom, uh, if they owe you, it's like, it's a good thing, I guess. You know, but we start with the sun, clarified by the six of wands. The sun is a card of clarity. It's the happiest card in the deck, right? Uh, the six of wands, clarifying that is a card of victory, success. It's a card of feeling good about yourself, feeling good about what's going on. It's a card of attention. You know, the justice card in the middle. You know, with the justice card... What can I say? It could be a Libra, you know, but justice, it could be a legal matter, or with justice card, it could be you're finally getting what you deserve, or maybe um, in the, at some point in the future it will be karma, you know, because karma is not, is not necessarily a negative thing, right? What you put out, that's what you get back, so if you do something for this person, it will come back to you tenfold. <laughs> Or justice could be, you know, an actual place where people get married, it could be a card of government, what have you. Together with all the other cards on the table, I think justice is like a very positive card in this case. Alright, and then we have strength clarified by the fool. Strength could be a card of courage or it could be a card of loyalty. Loyalty, so perhaps this person is going to be loyal to you. Strength could also be a card of, like I said, courage for you to go for it, to do this, to try this. Right, and uh, the full clarifying that is a card of taking a risk, taking a leap of faith. And uh, with the full cards, it, it could also be a card of spontan being spontaneous, you know, being spontaneous in this case. And uh, with the full card, people just usually go for it. Perhaps the full is something you haven't done in the past, you haven't tried in the past, and that's what this person wants you to sign up for, something you haven't perhaps done in the past, but they, they really need you. If this is about love, then I think it's just this person could be your future spouse, <laughs> right? Because the Ace of Pentacles could be a card of a proposal at some point in the future. There's also a pathway in the right bottom corner of that Ace of Pentacles. This is a pathway to a new life. So perhaps you getting together, getting the show on the road with this King of Cups could be you walking through that uh, gateway in the Ace of Pentacles, walking through towards your new life. But this, you know, this is a great spread. Like I said, four major arcana cards, and these are fantastic major arcana cards. We have the Six of Wands, we have the Ace of Pentacles. It's all good. It's all good in the neighborhood, <laughs> Taurus. So yeah, consider this, consider this, and uh, it looks good. Alright, so um, that's what I have for you, Taurus, for this reading, for this time period. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe, and uh, other than that, Taurus, have an amazing April.